Welcome to Mastering Email Communication, an essential guide to effective email writing. In today's fast-paced professional world, email communication plays a pivotal role in connecting with colleagues, clients and stakeholders. Whether you're drafting a business proposal, collaborating on a project or simply reaching out for information, the way you compose your emails can significantly impact your success. In this comprehensive e-learning series, we'll delve into the intricacies of crafting emails that are clear, concise and compelling. From understanding the fundamentals of email communication to mastering advanced techniques for polishing your messages, each module is designed to equip you with the skills needed to excel in your professional correspondence. So, whether you're a seasoned professional looking to refine your email writing skills or a newcomer eager to learn the ropes, Join us on this journey as we unlock the secrets to mastering email communication. Let's get started. Introduction to Email Communication Welcome to Module 1 of our e-learning series on understanding email communication. In this module, we'll explore the fundamental aspects of effective email communication in professional settings. Email communication plays a crucial role in modern workplaces, serving as a primary means of conveying information, collaborating with colleagues and engaging with clients. Clear and concise writing is key to ensuring that your messages are understood and actioned upon efficiently. Understanding Audience Understanding your audience is essential for crafting emails that resonate with recipients and achieve the desired outcomes. Identify your target audience by considering factors such as their role, level of expertise and relationship to you and your organisation. Tailor the tone, language and content of your emails to align with the preferences and expectations of your recipients, fostering better engagement and response rates. Email Structure and Formatting Let's now delve into the structure and formatting aspects of effective email communication. An email typically consists of several components, including the subject line, greeting, body, closing and signature. Adhering to proper formatting guidelines enhances the readability and professionalism of your emails. Consider aspects such as font choice, paragraphing, and the use of bullet points to present information clearly and logically. Conclusion Module 1 has provided a foundational understanding of email communication, emphasising the importance of clarity, audience awareness and proper formatting. Emails are integral to professional communication, requiring clear and concise writing to convey messages effectively. Tailoring your emails to suit the preferences and expectations of your audience enhances engagement and response rates. Adhering to structured format and employing effective formatting techniques improves the readability and professionalism of your emails. Next steps. Continue your journey to mastering email communication by exploring the subsequent modules in this series Module 2 will focus on crafting effective email content, while Module 3 will cover strategies for polishing your email communication skills. Thank you for your attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next module. Writing clear and concise subject lines. Welcome to Module 2 of our e-learning series on crafting effective emails. In this module, We'll focus on the crucial elements of subject lines, email content and tone. Subject lines are the first impression recipients have of your email, making them essential for grabbing attention and summarising the email's content. Crafting information, relevant and concise subject lines increases the likelihood of your email being opened and read. Tips for writing subject lines Let's explore some strategies for crafting compelling subject lines. Keep subject lines concise, ideally under 50 characters, 
to ensure they are fully visible on various devices and email clients. Include keywords that accurately reflect the content of the email, helping recipients understand its relevance at a glance. Use action-oriented language or urgency when appropriate to encourage recipients to open the email promptly. Writing clear and effective email content. Now let's shift our focus to the importance of clarity and brevity in email content. Clear and concise email writing involves avoiding unnecessary jargon, acronyms and technical language that may confuse or alienate recipients. Organize information logically using paragraphs, bullet points or numbered lists to enhance readability and comprehension. Prioritize key points and information, ensuring that the most important details are presented prominently for easy understanding. Tone and language. Finally, let's discuss the role of tone and language in email communication. Tone sets the overall mood and impression of your email, influencing how it is perceived by recipients. Maintain a professional and courteous tone in your emails, while also being assertive when necessary, to convey confidence and authority. Avoid ambiguity or offensive language, and be mindful of cultural differences that may impact interpretation. Conclusion Module 2 has provided insights into crafting effective emails, focusing on subject lines, email content and tone. Compelling subject lines are essential for grabbing attention and summarizing email content. Clear and concise email content enhances readability and comprehension while prioritizing key points for easy understanding. Maintaining a professional tone and language fosters positive communication and strengthens relationships with recipients. Next steps. Continue refining your email writing skills by exploring additional resources and practicing the strategies covered in this module. We look forward to seeing you in Module 3, where we'll delve deeper into advanced email communication techniques. Thank you for your participation. See you in the next module. Polishing your email communication. Proofreading and editing. Welcome to Module 3 of our e-learning series, where we'll focus on polishing your email communication through effective proofreading, timely responses and proper email etiquette. Proofreading is essential to catch errors and ensure clarity in your emails, helping to maintain a professional image. Techniques such as reading aloud and using spell check tools can enhance the effectiveness of your proofreading process. Techniques for effective proofreading. Let's explore some techniques for improving your proofreading skills. Take your time to carefully review your email for spelling, grammar and punctuation errors. Read your email aloud to identify awkward phrasing or unclear sentences. Utilize spell check tools provided by email clients or third party software for additional assistance. Responding to emails. Now, let's discuss best practices for responding to emails in a timely and appropriate manner. Respond promptly to emails to demonstrate professionalism and respect for the sender's time. Organize email threads by maintaining a clear subject line and including relevant information for each response. Follow up on action items or requests mentioned in previous emails to ensure timely completion. Email etiquette. Lastly, let's review common email etiquette guidelines for fostering respectful communication. Respond promptly to emails, acknowledging receipt and providing necessary information or feedback. Use proper salutations and closings to maintain professionalism, 
and avoid using all caps or excessive punctuation. Express gratitude when appropriate and use polite language to create a positive impression. Conclusion In conclusion, Module 3 has provided valuable insights into polishing your email communication through proofreading, timely responses and proper etiquette. Effective proofreading ensures clarity and professionalism in your emails. Timely responses and organized email threads contribute to efficient communication. Adhering to email etiquette guidelines fosters respectful and positive exchanges. As we come to the end of our Mastering Email Communication e-learning series, it's essential to reflect on the valuable insights and skills gained throughout our journey. We've explored the importance of clarity, conciseness and professionalism in email writing. And we've learned practical strategies for crafting effective subject lines, clear content and maintaining proper etiquette. Now, armed with these essential tools, it's time to put your newfound knowledge into practice. Whether you're drafting a critical business proposal, responding to a client inquiry or collaborating with colleagues, remember the principles of effective email communication we've covered. Additionally, continue to seek opportunities for growth and improvement. Explore additional resources such as email writing guides, online courses and feedback from peers to further refine your skills and adapt to evolving communication trends. Thank you for your participation and commitment to enhancing your email communication skills. By applying the principles learned in this series, you'll not only become a more effective communicator, but also contribute to building stronger professional relationships and achieving greater success in your endeavors. Best wishes on your journey to mastering email communication.